Life History of Silk Moth or Rearing of Silk Worm The lifespan of a silkworm is only about two months. The life cycle of silkworm has four stages. First, the egg. Second, silkworm. Third, pupa or chrysalis or cocoon. And fourth, moth. Eggs are kept in cold storage for about six weeks after they are laid. The eggs are bathed in warm water and air dried. Then they are incubated until they hatch and become worms. Hatching takes about 30 days. A tiny worm, white in color and about 5 to 6 millimeters, that is a quarter inch long, hatches out of an egg. This delicate worm needs a lot of care and a silent and sanitary environment is a must for its survival. These worms are placed on bamboo trays covered with straw mats and a layer of selected finely chopped mulberry leaves. The greedy worm is said to devour about 30,000 times its initial weight in the six-week feeding period. During this period, the silkworm sheds its skin, that is, molts, four times. When the worm ceases to eat, it attaches itself to a piece of straw or climbs the branches of trees or shrubs placed in the rearing house and begins to spin its cocoon. And so the magic begins. The spinning of cocoon in one continuous thread takes about eight days. The amount of usable silk in each cocoon is quite small and about 5,500 silkworms are required to produce, you know how much? About 1 kg of raw silk. That is, 2,500 to 3,000 cocoons are needed to make one yard of silk cloth. No wonder it is so expensive. Saracen, a gum-like liquid, exudes from the two openings under the worm's mouth and causes the fibers to adhere to one another. These filaments get hardened on exposure to air. The silkworm covers itself with these filaments and once the cocoon is completed, it sleeps for 15 to 20 days. The cocoons are collected and to get silk thread, the foremost step is to kill the insect inside the cocoon.